Hey guys, I got the Rubik MMA 225C digital inverter welder here that the seller sent to me to review for you guys. So I'm gonna walk you through what is included, what the quality is of it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a demo of uh, welding a piece together. I'll also be using uh, this Forney 330 seconds welding stick here and uh, it is 2.4 uh, millimeters as well. So I'll be using that in my demo. And yeah, so basically what is included is the actual machine here. You see that uh, it has the inputs right there for the ground as well as uh, the uh, welding rod holder. You also have a digital display port, which I'll show you here in a second. And then the back has the on and off switch with a fan on it uh, this does run on 120 or 220 volts uh, so you can plug it right into a normal outlet and be good to go it also includes a little um, a mask here a welding mask here you have a handle on it with the glass dark glass to be able to weld through and then also the uh, little tool for cleaning up your welding spot so we'll go ahead and show you the features as i turn it on and the options that are, are included. We'll see that uh, this does do the uh, MMA and the TIG. Uh, I'll be showing you MMA. Uh, and it also has uh, the voltage reader. You can change the settings for the size welding stick that you have. And then you also have settings for hot start, VRD, anti-stick, and the arc force. So you can, uh, change, you can change all those settings right in here easily on the digital display and with the knob there. So um, we have the uh, amp reading right here. So for the uh, 43 30 seconds um, welding stick that I'm using on 40, they recommend between 50 and 70 amps. And I think uh, it's a little bit different from what they suggest in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and crack to it to uh, 70. So we can change the amperage to 70 right there. So go ahead and get this set up here. All right, so I'll put the ground negative wire in here. Just push it in and twist and kind of tightens into place there. So we'll take this, put the cord over here and then hook it up to uh, the metal there and then i will go ahead and do let's go ahead and get the uh, welding stick into it see there that uh, you're able to hold it right in there you can do different angles as well with this so it has little marks in there so you can uh, choose which way you want to put it in there if you want to do it at an angle has a little groove to uh, lock it into place there, so I'll just go ahead and do the straight angle there. All right, so I'm gonna set this over here, make sure it's not touching the metal, and then go ahead and get the positive in there and twist it into place. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, weld this bar into here, and we'll see how it goes. Turn my hat backwards. So we're gonna try this uh, one more time with this piece of metal right here. The other one was just too thin. It was basically melting it. So let's go ahead and give this one a try. All right, you can see here that I was able to get the weld in here. And if I had gloves, I would grab this, but... Um, Looks like it's a really strong uh, hold. I am a beginner welder, um, so it's not definitely not pretty, but obviously with practice, uh, you'll be able to do better. Um, but you can see there that it is a strong weld and the machine works. Obviously, again, you need practice if you're new like me, uh, but once I got it figured out, then I was able to get the weld uh, done pretty easily. So it's a great machine, it works well. 
and it seems like it's very uh, easy to figure out once you know all the settings and everything. Uh, but if you're just getting started or if you're even a professional, I think this is a great option. Nice lightweight machine to be able to just plug in and use whenever you need it. So definitely uh, recommend this. Uh, and if this video was helpful for you guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next review video. Thanks.